Welcome back to another video. Let's talk about trading. Today's video is going to be quite brief. It's in response to a comment by Guy. It was on a previous video. The previous video, if you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it down below or put a card up so you can click on that and check that out. And it was a video all about my own trading setup or infrastructure. So what I'm going to do is in response, in request to Guy, I'm going to show you on my computer how I log on to my virtual private server, then we log on to MultiCharts, my trading platform, and I'll show you how to connect Interactive Brokers, which is my broker, and connect it to a Lambda, which is the data feed for MultiCharts. So we'll move over there now, and I'll show you around. Okay, so this is the desktop of my local computer. And firstly, let's log on to my server computer. So literally, I'll open a little program called Microsoft Remote Desktop. It's just a free program that allows you to connect with your server. And if I double click, and this brings you straight away to the desktop of my server. I'm using, as you can see, I'm using Windows Server 2012 R2. I don't think it matters too much what server you use. This one, as I mentioned, is an Amazon one. It's a free one from Amazon. They do give you lots of choice of different free servers, but I can definitely recommend the 2012 R2 Windows Server because it works perfectly. So first of all, this, this little window you see here is actually IB Gateway. This is the little piece of software that links Interactive Brokers, or my account, my broker account, to multi-charts. And it's not necessary. You can use a different piece of software from Interactive Brokers, but this one is very light on memory usage and that sort of thing. So that's why I use that one. And you can see that it says that we're connected. So my broker is now connected to multi-charts. So another program, and here's multi-charts. This just happens to be one of my Forex live trading screens. Um, it's in one of the tabs down here. They're called workspaces. You can have multiple workspaces and multiple charts and multiple strategies running within each workspace. I best say, actually, as it's a Sunday afternoon, uh, we're not connected to the markets because the markets are shut. Although it looks exactly the same when we're connected, all that you see is here is the price constantly updating. You can see up here, a little green light next to Interactive Brokers. That means we're connected to my account to Interactive Brokers. These other tabs are other accounts. Um, none of them are connected because I don't use any of the others. Although I do connect to Orlando to for the data feed and the window you would get for that if I connect to Iander comes up with this window and I'll sign in, username and password and it will automatically use Iander's data feed. But I can't show you that because it's a Sunday afternoon and the markets are shut. So that's about it really, that's about as complex as it gets, it's not very complex. Um, that's multi-charts, the platform, uh, IB gateway, and the desktop of the server. If I want to close out the server, I literally I just close out of Microsoft Remote Desktop, and that's it. It stays running. The actual VPS just stays running as normal. So there you have it. That's how I do things on my computer, and how I log on to my server via my local computer and this is a setup i mentioned in the previous video that really works people talk about all different things but i can tell you honestly from experience uh, using multi charts for years now and multi charts Oanda, interactive brokers they all connect together they all work very seamlessly very reliably i might do another video in fact to show you how I develop strategies on multi-charts locally because the multi-charts software that I use 
on the server is purely for trading. When I do developing and develop strategies, I actually do them locally on my computer here. Interestingly enough, you'll notice I, I do use a Mac. Uh, Multicharts is Windows only software. So if you're a Mac user and you're interested in how I run Multicharts being a Windows based software, then leave a comment down below and I'll do a video all about that and show you how I use a Mac to develop strategies on multi-charts. Hope you found this video interesting. If you liked it, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel and share the video with anyone who you think might find this interesting too. And like I say, any questions, comments, please leave them down below or email me, jared at the transparenttrader.com. I'll see you on the next video.